We'll now introduce data frames. This is the most important data structure that Pandas creates. A data frame is a two-dimensional data structure that's specifically designed basically to uh, behave like a spreadsheet. Pandas data frames are actually built by putting together a set of series. So you have one series for each column and each of those series share a common index, both the integer and the label index. So if um, this essentially means that the common shared index refers to the row in the table, since um, each col this, the corresponding position in each column represents the same row. To create a data frame, we instantiate a PD data frame object. And just like in series, if we include a list of strings, then that list can be used to assign labels to the rows in that data frame. So let's jump in and create some data frames here. So um, the easiest way to do this is to define the sequence of series by using a Python dictionary. So the um, key for each item is the name of the column. And then the value for each of the items is the list, which uh, is used to generate the items that are in that column. So if I want to create a, uh, a dictionary to describe my group list and my legs list, and I want to call them group and number legs, this is how I would set that up. So once I've created this dictionary, that's what I pass into the data frame, uh, the PD data frame instantiation uh, statement. And then just like I did with series, I'm going to pass in index equals animal list, and that will assign each row a name that it corresponds to the names in the animal list. So let's go ahead and run this. And here's what I see when I tell it to print out the uh, new organism info data frame. So I can see here's my group column, here's my number of legs column, and it, co it contains the values that I had in the group series and the number of legs series. So I basically put these two series into the table here and here. And over here, I see the uh, string labels for the indices that correspond to the, um, the uh, animal list. Now, if I use a print statement, I get this um, sort of organized table-like view. But if I actually do, if I'm using Jupyter Notebooks and I do a direct output of the data that consists of the data frame, like without using the print statement, then Jupyter Notebooks actually has this uh, nicely formatted table that's uh, easier to look at than if I do sort of a generic print statement. So that's a very useful thing to know.